Ollie, yeah, bit of an arm wrestle that one, but the points are in the bag, that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, two points, it was an ugly two points, but at the end of the day, that, that's what we're here for and uh, that's what we got, but it was a, a scrappy game, we made some uncharacteristic errors and, you know, it was a, a tough battle, they came out and they defended really well, did witness, and, uh, uh, you know, they put it to us, but we, we, we had a lot of incompleted sets, but in the end up we got there. Started, they started off like a house on fire. You must have wondered what they, was com what they were coming at, but you managed to settle it down, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, like we weathered the early storm, as, so they say, and uh, we, we, we defended pretty good. Uh, just a few a few errors, myself, myself included. Uh, you know, it's just that's part and parcel of the game, and uh, obviously we got the better of them today, and, you know, we came out healthy winners, but, you know, it could have been a lot more. Um, I think we... We, we, we didn't capitalise on, on their mistakes as much as we should have done, really. You've scored every time in front of the cameras and uh, it was an interesting afternoon again for you, wasn't it, today, with a couple of big hits as well? Yeah, yeah, I copped a couple today, didn't I? But, you know, that's part and parcel of the game as well. If you don't want to cop them, you shouldn't be playing it. But, uh, you know, it's, what, it's not about how you get hit, it's about how you get up, so... How much did the injuries around affect the team, though? Because, I mean, Dean Collis, obviously, early on, Paul Sykes, Danny Kermel was struggling. It, it seemed to be one of those days, didn't it, on the injury front? Yeah, yeah, we struggled along, didn't we? We kind of limped, limped through it. We lost Dean and Sykes in the first half, two influential players, and, you know, we, we had, I think we ended up, we finished with two forwards rotating as interchange, and, you know, massive effort from Paul Ayton in the middle of the field, just tremendous engine on him, and, uh, you know, Danny Washbrook going in at standoff, it, you know, it was, it was always going to be ugly when we got players playing out of position, so many players playing out of position and rotating round that much. You know, some people didn't know whether, whether they were coming or going, but like I say, we, in the end up we got there and two points is two points. With the lads up front though, you have managed to keep the injuries at bay for a few weeks and that must be helping with the four of you and the interchanges, etc. Just getting that bit of momentum going between you. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've got a bit of continuity going there in the middle and uh, I think uh, we've been criticised quite a bit this year as, as middles and uh, I think we've put, put it to a few teams that we've played recently and, you know, we've muscled up and uh, got in an arm wrestle and we've been getting the better of some sides. Give me a little word for your captain. If it was a car, he'd never pass his MOT, would he, at the minute? But boy, he keeps going, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's doing a fantastic job. He's leading from the front, leading by example, as they say, and, uh, you know, if it continues like that, I don't see why he shouldn't be getting in the England squad. Now, this looks a little bit like last season to me. Is there a feeling in the squad that it's getting that way as well as the run to the top eight comes? Well, you've, everyone's, it's the same cliche, you know, take every week as it comes and uh, let the league look after itself. But, you know, we can't perform like that uh, and, hope and scrape through and make the playoffs. We'll have to knuckle down, um, work hard in training and hopefully, like I say, the league table look after itself if we do our job right. And a bit of a break now before the next game. That must be a relief for the players a little bit at the moment. Yeah, I definitely need one myself. You know, it's going to, uh, my body's a bit bashed up this week, so uh, it'll be nice to have a break. And obviously, Dean, Dean's hamstring that, that needs a couple of weeks. So, I think I think like, the break will do us good, and we'll we'll come back fighting for the next game. Thanks, Ollie. Well done on the way, mate. No worries, thank you. Cheers.